Hello, this is Narain three phase motor starter model DOLSP, and this is Narain smart connect mobile controller for three phase pumps, which are bundled together. And this can be given as a complete package for you, just in case if you want a control mobile controller with the starter as a bundle. So, if this is purchased together, then we can do all the wiring for you. So, if you can just notice, this is the starter and this is the mobile controller. All the wiring which has to be done from the starter is uh, given uh, like this. So, the wires, the the wires for the mobile controller is pre-wired from us. So, these are all the wires which are coming out of the starter, and the one which you can see on this side, this is the wires coming out of the Smart Connect mobile controller. So this is the Smart Connect uh, mobile controller's wires and this is the starter wires. Everything is pre-wired. All you need to do is you just need to match the colors and connect it to the connectors provided. So very simple to set up. And uh, before going ahead with the uh, connections, we will just have a look at the starter. This is the, uh, the starter which is uh, derived from the MK1 concept. And if you can just notice, it has physical on-off push buttons. And then if you can have a look at what is there inside. So inside we have this incoming three-way connectors. This is the thermal overload relay which is provided. And then beneath you have MU series contactor. So this, this again contactors can be configured. This is available in uh, MU series contactor option or Cutler Hammer uh, contactor option or the MK1 uh, type contactors also. So all the three options are available. You can customize the starter based on your requirement. And again this is available for uh, 3 HP, 5 HP, 6 HP, 7.5, 8 HP as well as 10 HP. For all the dual versions this starter is available. So everything, all the wires which have to be connected to the mobile controller is already pre-wired and which are uh, taken out like this as mentioned earlier. Just taken out like this. So once this is done then uh, uh, you will have to connect the CTs. So this is what we call as CTs. So these are given along with the mobile controller as a package. So there will be three CTs in the package. So if you can have a look at the starter, this will be the incoming three-way connector and this will be the uh, motor cable points. Okay. So the incoming three-way connectors, uh, the three-phase supply will be given here. So the three-phase supply which is coming from the incoming fuse, uh, so there will be three CTs as mentioned. So every CT will have a hole like this. So the wire which is coming uh, to the starter as incoming should pass through the hole of every CT. So three CTs should be given to three separate individual uh, lines. So every uh, wire will pass through this independent holes and go into the incoming of the starter like this. And there will be the wires, if you can just have a look at the CT, there will be wires coming out of the CT like this. So this wire should be connected to uh, these terminals here. So this is very easy, there will be three uh, sets of wires and three sets of terminals and this is the first one so there will be uh, the connect terminal like this which is given along with the CTs all you need to do is you will just have to press this so if you can press this this will get locked and this is the CT connections which you will have to do the first thing is matching the colors for the wires which are coming out this is connect point number one then you have uh, the CTs which have to be uh, connected like this then uh, the next set of connection would be uh, the Antenna. So this this will be the antenna provided along with the package. So this will be the antenna. So there will be the connector for the antenna. So you will just have to uh, tighten the connector. This is the antenna point connector. You just have to tighten this. And this is the antenna which has a magnet beneath. So this can be kept on any metal surface. So preferably this has to be kept at the higher uh, place. The highest point in your the starter board. You can also keep it on top of the outdoor uh, meter box, the metal box. Okay. So all it uh, you have to make sure is the antenna gets the proper uh, signal reception. So once this is done, then uh, the last part which uh, you will have to notice is the connection of SIM card. So the SIM card uh, has to be bought by you. So any SIM card apart from Geo works for this particular model because this, this is a 2G based uh, model. Of course, yeah, Airtel, Vodafone, Idea, BSNL, all the 5G SIMs also work to this, except Geo. So, uh, while uh, ins inserting the SIM card, you will have to make sure that there will be a notch on the SIM card. The notch will be, if you can just see, this is the cut. So, the cut should go beneath, okay. So, this is the SIM tray here. So, this is the SIM tray. So, you will have to make sure the notch is uh, beneath and this is just slide. So, you just have to slide the SIM card inside this tray. So you'll have to slide to the farthest end possible so that this is how it look once the SIM card is inserted. Okay. 
So this is the the, the SIM card slot. So once this is done, you are good to go. Nothing else is required. So yeah, we will uh, next uh, have a look at the operations. So once this is done, once the SIM card is inserted, so you will just have to power off the device and then power it back again. So the Smart Connect uh, has two parts. So one is adapter and the second one is the main controller. Again, when it comes to uh, the protection features, Smart Connect has uh, a bundle of protections because we are sensing the currents in all the three lines. It can read out the currents in all three lines. Because of that, uh, you will have the uh, digital overload protection. Then you have uh, the dry run protection. So once the motor runs without water, the motor is turned off and intimated to you via SMS. Then the third one is single phase protection. So if the motor cable gets cut or one of the incoming line is not present, both the cases the motor is turned off and it is purely current sensing. Then uh, you have this low voltage and high voltage protection. So this is when it comes to the uh, smart connect. Uh, so then on the starter perspective, again you have uh, uh, this thermal overload relay which gives you the thermal overload protection. Then you have a single phase preventer, again current sensing preventer which is built in inside the starter. So you'll have an additional single phase and thermal overload relay on top of the uh, the protections which Smart Connect is providing. So then Smart Connect has uh, varieties of uh, modes again, manual mode, auto start mode, cyclic timer mode, uh, shift timer mode and daily timer mode. You have varieties of options again. You can configure all the modes on uh, via an SMS uh, through your device. Okay, I think uh, this is pretty much about the whole bundle which we can offer. Then uh, we'll quickly have a look at... So now we are powering up the system. So the power is turned on, you can just see. So if you can just notice the LED here, this is continuously blinking every second. This indicates the mobile is not connected, sorry, this is not connected to the mobile network. So as soon as the device gets connected to the network, you can see this light blinking once every two seconds, okay. So once every two seconds, you can see this light blinking. So this means that the device is connected to the mobile network. So whatever SIM card you've connected, it's connected to that particular network. So once this is done, as soon as the power is there, then you can see uh, there will be a notifications triggered. So you can see uh, the notification coming in. So this is the notification. So as soon as the power is back, it says power is back, it is safe to turn on the motor. And you can also see the respective voltages. So this is the RY voltage, which is 450, YB 444 and BR. This is the voltages which are there in all the three lines. and. Uh, uh, next to the voltage it is the current in that particular line then it says mode which mode your device currently is in it says manual mode and then device id is pertaining to this particular device and at the last line you can see that timestamp date and timestamp so this uh, day the message was sent from the device at this particular date which is 18 2 and this is the timestamp 16 0 it is the current time at which the device has sent the message and then once this is through then you can always uh, turn on the motor using your mobile phone so anywhere uh, in India you can just control uh, the motor start and stop operation. You can just so now we will try switching on the phone, now switching on the motor through our mobile phone. So you just need to call the number which is there, the SIM card number through the registered mobile number. So just calling now, you just saved the contact as Narayan mobile controller. The device will cut the call after a couple of rings, so you just have to wait for the device to cut the call. Yeah, the device just disconnected the call. So as soon as uh, this is done, uh, you will get back the message from the device regarding the motor on operation. There you go. So this is the message. Now the message says motor successfully turned on. Initiated by is the number through which the command was received. And then RY, YB, BR are the three voltages while the motor is running. And when the motor is running, you can see the currents drawn in all the three lines. 6.5 in the first line, 6.4 in the second line and 6.1 in the third line. Then you have the device ID and date and timestamp on the last lines. So this intimates, uh, uh, you know, the motor is turned on and then uh, whenever uh, you want to wish to check the status of the motor, you can always check the status using another command, we can guide you over of that. And then again, uh, whenever you want to turn off the motor, the same procedure has to be followed. We will now turn off the motor using the same procedure through the call. So again, it will be the call to the same number through one of the registered numbers. Again, the same procedure, you should wait for the device to cut the call. All right. So again it will cut the call after a couple of rings, so the device cut the call and as soon as the motor is turned off, we will get back a message through the device again. So this is the message here, the motor successfully turned off, initiated by the number through which the command was received and the motor of parameters. So this is the basic feature which we are showing. 
So the smart connect which is there has uh, uh, pretty uh, much uh, you know or almost around five different modes and uh, all the settings has to be uh, done through your mobile phone also. So uh, the detailed video about the operation of the different settings and the features which this has to offer is there in the other video which we will share the link on the description. So I hope this video was clear. So um, the whole agenda of this video was uh, this mobile controller can be given as a bundle with the starter, the Devolve variety. Likewise, we have different starters also available for you. So this is one of the basic starters. You can also go for the advanced starters for both Star Delta and uh, Devolve versions. So I hope this video was uh, informative. So just in case you have any queries, you can always reach us out on double nine seven double two four three double seven four. I repeat, it's double nine seven double two four three double seven four. You can find our uh, contact details on the description. Thank you so much for watching this video.